Maybe not looking like that, but looking like the person sitting right next to you. Isn't that an awesome thing? Isn't that a great thing that God has done that teaches us how to know him because we all have him in our lives. And we reflect the image of him in the love that he has given to us in our relationship to one another. All of us here today are here because along life's road, you saw Jesus in somebody. Is that not true? You encountered Jesus, you visibly saw Jesus in somebody's life. And you're here because of it. See, we see Jesus all the time, don't we? Isn't that cool? That God would entrust that to 11 who became 3,000 and who have become millions. We see Jesus everywhere. And Satan doesn't know what to do with himself. He can't stop it. For me, it was my crazy Aunt Mickey. I used to hate to be trapped in a room with her. Lord have mercy. I remember going to, uh, it was others too, my mother and, and, and my brother and, and uh, just multiple people in my lives. But I remember one time, and I may have told you all this, we went to a function. My Aunt Mickey was there. It was a family get together. And the house we were at kept exchange students. Two of them were Muslim. My aunt found out about it. I said, you boys better run. <laughs> I said, get out of the house. <laughs> Boys, like you can just see the, the crosshair food right there. And there she went, buddy. I used to call her crazy Aunt Mickey. But she was crazy about Jesus. And today, as I stand here, I think back on her life. I can remember the day she, and I wasn't even thinking about telling you all this, but I can remember the day she passed away. She was in the intensive care unit at Park Ridge. She lived to see me become a Christian. And I went into that room and, you know, I, I, she was, had the thing down the mouth and all the stuff that goes with being an intensive care unit. And somehow she just looked over at me and smiled and just went like that. And then she passed away shortly after that. But she was crazy for Jesus. And when I think of people that I've encountered along life's road, She's one that comes to mind. Who's that, who's that been for you? Isn't it great that Jesus still reveals himself? That we can still see him in people that come to us. What a powerful thing. What an awesome God that would even conceive of something like that. It's amazing. So my answer is yes, Jesus appeared to his followers, that's great, but man, my answer is he still does today. Only he just looks like us. He just looks like us. And that's why we have to guard our faith and protect our hearts and be diligent about who we are in the presence of other people. How sad is it when we present Jesus to others in a way in which it's not true? And we cause those people to stumble rather than to rise up along life's road. But how joyful and rewarding is it when people come to the Lord because you've been their Jesus. And they've seen the Christ living in you. Heavenly Father, thank you today for this message and this time and your word. Lord, it's your word to us. It's your truth. You have done the things you have done because you are the God of all gods, the God of heaven. There are no other gods but you except those that are false. You have chosen 
in your wisdom to reveal yourself through us. Lord, help us to live out that life that might show you to someone who is searching so desperately for answers in life. When that answer is just a breath away, the name of Jesus. Help us to be Jesus to somebody this week that we may reveal the truth of a loving God to a hurting world in all that we do. And it's in Christ's name we pray, amen.